Check it out, Allison. Issues with my mom and Ada, and like just sitting there in church, like I had to repent, but it was just that I don't want to say I'm sorry. Hmm. I think I'm still struggling with pride. I don't think of myself as prideful. <laughs> so I was like, I want to be right. So to sacrifice that. Pierce, I want, I want you, I want to encourage you though, like how beautiful it is to, to actually notice that because when you're noticing that there's a place where then you're able to say, okay, I am going to repent. And you're noticing like, man, my flesh really doesn't want to. And then when you do, you're actually watching over that. You're seeing those parts. And then you're literally choosing to become into alignment with what you know is true and right. And so that is beautiful because think about maybe it was six months ago. Maybe it was a year ago, maybe it was four years ago, but there was no noticing that. And so no noticing, does it mean that it wasn't there? No, you were blind to it. Like the spirit wasn't even waking you enough up and you weren't paying attention enough and following God and seeking those ways enough to even notice. And so, I would just really greatly encourage you. I think that is the battle the rest of our lives is not that, oh, finally it's all my pride is gone because then that would truly expose again, that you're not seeing how much pride we still have, but that you're a person that the soul is waking up and, and you're going, holy smokes, I see this. I don't, that's a beautiful, beautiful place. And so it almost reminds me of like, that torment that you're seeing the thorn in the side the torment becoming the mentor it's reminding you that you need to continually choose him and as you continually choose him you're noticing and it's not even the prayer that it has to go away it's the thing that will remind you to stay in alignment with him and so it's it's not praying that all my pride would disappear it's seeing it enough that, that that i'm reminded to repent and stay close to him and walk very close in alignment with him <laughs>